Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Kirby Superstar. In the last episode, um, we got started in the garden area, the final area of the Great Cave Offensive. This episode, we're going to backtrack a little bit here because we need to get back to where... Okay, so we got the katana in this room, and if I'm not mistaken, there was... Oh, it was right after that. Okay. Never mind. Shoot. Okay, so basically, there's a room right before where the cannons are, actually. And that's where the missing treasure we have is. So let's try and find that room, actually. I think it's this one, actually. Uh, let's use Jet, actually. Basically what we're doing starting off this time is we're going to get that treasure that I missed, basically. Now, there's supposed to be like a waterfall. Yeah, you drop through, you can actually drop through this block right here with the waterfall coming out of it. And by doing so, you drop down here, and that's where your treasure is. This is the treasure that I was missing in the last episode. There it is, finally. The charm. Alright, so now we're on track to get all the treasure still. So we just have literally six treasures left in the Great Cave Offensive. And they're all here in the garden. I am so excited about that. Because that means no more old tower. That's why I'm so excited about that. Okay, so anyways, let's backtrack back to uh, the room before this, where, all the, where the three doors are. Because we have no other reason to be in here. So I will meet you guys. Well, actually, no reason to meet you guys out there. We can just jet our way over there, right? For the most part. Yeah, looks like that. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go through the right door. Because, once again, I'm pretty sure that it's that the middle door is the one that takes you to the, to the very end of uh, uh, the Great Cave Offensive. Okay. Right. Now, these cannons. Uh, okay, so first we have... Oh, okay. Well, there we go. There's treasure right there. There we go. I kind of want to go up, though, in order to get that... That Maxent Mayo. Well, then again, like... Yeah, actually, yeah, I, ki I ki kind of need it, so I'm going to use it. I'm definitely going to use it. There we go. Okay. Needed that. I mean, like, sure, we're not far from where the save point is, so we could have just gone, so we wouldn't have had to go that far back. Okay, so let's try going left. Actually, I kind of want to go right. I want to go, like, up there first, actually. So we're going to go up and. Okay, well, not that way, but I'm going to go left. You can only break through these blocks as the, through using the cannons, just so you know, so you can't cheat this. Okay. Oh, that was it? That's literally it? There's nothing in here? Okay, fine. Did all that for nothing. At least as long as you're being blasted out of the can, you're kind of invincible, sort of. You have to go straight down or else you just bounce right back into the cannon. There we go, jeez. <laughs> so I was trying to do. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's kind of an interesting ability. Bet fight ability you got there, Kirby. You just hold on to the enemy and then forces them to... Okay, whatever. I'm not even going to question it. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm just going to let my partner take all the damage. Yeah, that's the, that's the kind of person I am. I knew that sort of thing. <laughs> okay. There we go. We got the raccoon doll. Which is the very next treasure, so we're still on track for to get all the treasures now, currently. That's what I'm all worried about in this episode. So that's all I'm gonna be talking about until we get to get done with the Great Cave Offensive, just so you know. Just see so you know. Okay, so I don't think like I use Suplex very much in selfie so far, so here I am. I'm using Suplex. There you go. Are you satisfied now? I sure hope you are. Basically, Suplex is just a more hands on version of Fighter, Kirby, pretty much. I don't even remember if it shows up inside the in the Kirby anime, actually, I don't remember. Oh boy. Wanna die for a cup of coffee? I'm pretty sure anyone in the world would do that, honestly. All you coffee lovers out there, you know you know who I'm talking about. You know who you are. Okay, I'm actually gonna get Bugsy on my team here so I can get this uh cutter ability, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need it, honestly. I just have this very gut feeling I'm gonna need it. This gut feeling. Okay. Will this lead us to a treasure? Hopefully. Let's find out. Okay, 
that spawned directly above us, but I don't know if this leads us to it. Oh boy, it kind of does. Oh boy. Oh boy! <laughs> uh. So you're trying to get the crash enemy or something? Okay, it's because... Oh, well, I probably could have... Uh, uh. How do you destroy these blocks, man? Can you... Oh! Well, duh! Maybe that might help. Sheesh. But it's gonna make, yeah, the surgeon's gonna make this treasure pain the butt to get. Okay, we got it. Shut whistle, let's get the heck out of here before we get hurt. Okay. <laughs> and nothing of value was hurt. <laughs> oh my god, I'm being such a jerk to my partner. Once again, dime for a cup of coffee. Is this game trying to tell you that, that coffee lovers will do anything for coffee? Is this what the game is trying to tell you right now? Okay. <laughs> I'm... I'm indifferent to that, considering I, I'm not a big coffee lover myself, honestly. Oh, you know what? You need the crash ability in order to get this treasure right here. Well, you know what? This is one instance where the constant enemy respawning is a good thing, actually. This is a one instance. This is one instance where it is actually. So we're going to need that crash enemy in order to get this treasure over here. Okay, so you can't use the underwater, right? right? Okay. So we're gonna use that. Just to press that block, literally. Just to press that pink switch. And by doing so, let's get this treasure right here. This is the Ori Halcon. The Ori Halcon. And with that, we only have two treasures left. Just two. Just two. Okay. Let's go down here. This is, should lead us to another one, I think. Or oh, just gonna lead us back over here. That's fine. That's fine. Might as well go through here and get Wump anyways. A Wump that's going to be completely useless to us in the next area, in the next uh, game, isn't it? You know? Because I'm pretty sure one ups don't transfer to other other games of Kirby Superstar. I'm pretty sure, honestly. Okay. Oh my god, seriously, dude. Stop taking hits every left and right. That's what the old Kirby games are about, though. That's how it is for me, at least, when I play them. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got all the treasures in that door. This will take us right back to... Yep, right back where I thought it would. Okay. Well, that's fine, because the last of the treasures should be through this door. Lean to the lean to the boss, actually. Ice! 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 Kirby! <laughs> Here. Uh, I'm going to turn you into a Billy before you die. Thank you. So I can use Cutter Billy to access whatever. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, you know what? The good news is that you can simply reset this room by exiting and come back in. So that's the good news. Because otherwise, uh, yeah, he wouldn't be able to get that treasure down there. So let's kind of improvise here. Let's find another way down there, shall we? Let's instead cut this wire. Yeah, there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> That was way too close. Okay, so you need to go to the left in order to get down there. I get it. Okay. Oh god. Careful. You can accidentally destroy the... You cut the wire there. Oh. Actually, I don't want to destroy that one either. There we go. Sure, you're gonna block your way to the one up, but in the process, you'll be able to get, get to this treasure over here. This is the Platinum Ring. That leaves one last treasure, y'all. Just one more treasure in the Great Cave Offensive. Oh my god. Four and a half years, ladies and gentlemen. We're finally here. We're finally just about done with Great Cave Offensive. We have one more treasure left. One more. One more. Oh my god, guys. I can't believe we're already here. We're finally here. I shouldn't have said already here because it's the total opposite because it's been like four and a half years. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm going to use Yo-Yo here. Because somehow I get the feeling we need it. Okay, so your goal here is to avoid the springs because it is not spring, so therefore you don't want the springs because it is not spring, it's winter, so you don't want spring. Okay, just shut up, dude. Shut up! Stop making it obvious that you're high on caffeine right now. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't say high. High is not the term I would use for, ca for caffeine usage. Okay, I think the last treasure's down here. I think it's down here. Careful. 
wall. So we don't die here. So we don't die. Well, we didn't die, that's for sure. Okay. Down here. Oh my god, guys. This is it right here. This is the last treasure of the Great Cave Offensive right here. And what is it? It's... It's... The Triforce. The freaking Triforce. From the Legend of Zelda series. Is the last treasure of Kirby's Great Cave Offensive. What a paradox. But, anyways, if you see 9999990 on the bottom of your screen right now, congratulations. You have just completed the Great Cave Offensive and have all 60 treasures. Congratulate yourself because this is no easy feat. This is the hardest hurdle you're going to have to go over whenever you play Kirby Superstar on the Super Nintendo. I'm not even joking. Once you do that, the hardest part of the game is literally over, in my personal opinion is. But guess what? We're still not quite done yet. We still have the boss. The last boss, the Great Cave Offensive. Here it is. If you play Super Smash Bros, you should be familiar with this. Actually, this guy actually, I think he's inspiration for Super Smash Bros Master Hand. Because here, we have Wham Bam Brock. And in order to defeat Wham Bam Brock, you have to de defeat his hands, or destroy his hands, basically. Destroy his stone, his stone hands, basically. Let me use the... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, boy. So, so with that move, he's gonna try to grab you, actually, so be careful. With that move, he tries to punch you, which, will, which can do pretty... pretty, uh... uh, sizable amount of damage. Okay. Uh, okay, got some pretty good damage in there. Oh boy, that was not good. Oh boy, oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that, man? Seriously? Okay, so by the way, you may notice that the game is actually, like, sometimes whenever I, sometimes, you know, the game actually will just freeze and freeze in where it is. The reason why is because I'm pressing Y. If you press Y when you're not staying still, then that's what will happen instead of showing you the, you know, your treasures. It just pause. it just makes the game, like, stop moving entirely. It's just basically pausing. But without showing you the, uh, you know, the, the abilities of your, of your abilities. Abilities of your abilities, yeah. That's the right way of saying it. Okay, I'm almost dead, but he is almost dead too. He's closer to being dead than I am, actually, thankfully. Okay. Uh... And... Oh, dead. Well, I'm almost dead. But, you're gonna die first! Yeah! Alright, Wham Bam Rock is down! And with that, my friends, we have completed Kirby Superstar Great Cave Offensive. Not Kirby Superstar itself, but Great Cave Offensive. We did it, y'all. We did it. Here we are. At, on the home stretch. Oh, man. I can't believe this is actually happening. I can't believe I actually made it to the end of Great Key Offensive with all of the treasures. I actually did it. So, at the very end here, you just take all the elevators up, and then you're pretty much at the very end of the Great Key Offensive. But guess what? Guess where you end up? Right exactly where you started. Literally, this is the very beginning of the Great Chaos Offensive. This is where you start. But this time, the Warp Star is here to assist Kirby on getting to the very getting back back up. So let's go. Okay, so. At this point, it's going to scroll through pretty much every treasure that you got. So, if you got all the treasures, then congrats, it's going to show all of them on here. So, oh man, I cannot believe I'm actually seeing this right now. I am still, like, in awe, and I'm pr probably going to be in awe for the rest of this episode, honestly, because this is how we're getting off the episode here, is just with the end of the Great Cave Offensive, and then we'll start the next game in the next episode, but... Oh man... This was seriously the biggest hurdle I had to get through in order to complete Kirby Superstar in every playthrough I've ever done. You know, both, both, well, both versions of the game actually, Kirby Superstar and Kirby Superstar Ultra on the DS. 
and I finally did. Sure, yes, I had to use, I did use a walkthrough, but in all honesty, I would have found the treasures eventually anyways, and this just saved you guys some time pretty much, you know, me using, me using the walkthrough. So, at least as long as I'm loosely following a walkthrough, at least that means that my playthrough will be a li little bit more streamlined than it would have been otherwise. So yeah. So with that, we'll finally be able to see the 100% ending of both the Great Cave Offensive and the game in general. Because there's only one other game left on here where there's actually uh, an additional secondary objective in addition to the primary objective. And I, de I will tell you, it's not the next game. Next game, you literally just play through and then you're done. There's, no there's nothing additional to collect or anything. No secret exits or anything like that. So... That'll make it, that alone makes it easier than this one, for me. Alright, so now it's going through all the treasures of the garden, so we're just about done here. Oh boy. I'm actually wearing a Kirby shirt too, by the way, right now, just so I point that out, as I'm playing a Kirby game on this channel. Oh man, I might as well just record the rest of the game tonight, actually. It's still January 10th as I'm recording this, by the way. Oh, I should probably start drinking water now, jeez. Treasures found, 60 out of 60. Total, 9,999,990 G. Yeah. Congratulations, indeed. Okay. I think that unlocks the last game, too. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. All right, so next time on Kirby Superstar with the Great K Offensive finally behind us after four and a half years, we move on to Revenge of Meta Knight. See you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Oh, and by the way, the uh, multiplayer madness I was talking about, these are the mini games we're going to play in that multiplayer madness. Um, because I don't know, I don't know what else we would do on a, on a multiplayer madness in this game, but whatever. See you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.